Hey everyone, Bill Murphy here from the Sports Insanity Network, and welcome to another exciting edition of Murphy's View. Well, I got an interesting one for you today, folks. As all of you, if not most of you know, I am a diehard New York Yankees fan. And I've, I think it's safe to say I bleed pinstripes. I've loved the Yankees forever, and I also have a Yankee side podcast with Danny Boy Reginald called Bombers Banter. Go check that out if you haven't. We release it every month. So that aside, last night, I did the unthinkable. Me, a diehard New York Yankees fan, crossed the border from Bronx to Queens and went to a Mets game. Now, I just wanted to give you my thoughts as a Yankee fan of what I thought of the of what I thought of the stadium, what I thought of the atmosphere, a little bit of the game itself, and just tell you what I overall thought. And I just want to tell you all, folks, I am not changing my loyalties of fandom. I'm not going to swipe this out for a blue and orange hat. That is not happening. I bleed pinstripes. Yankees till I'm cold and dead. But anyway, let's get started. So I went to the game last night with two friends of mine. Um, one of my friends texted me and asked me, hey, do you want to go to the Mets game with me next Friday? And I'm like, sure. So it was me, him, and another friend of ours. So, and I've never been to Shea. And last night was my first night at City Field. My first time at City Field. So I've heard good things about it. Believe it or not, from fellow Yankee fans, I've heard very good things about City Field. So I thought, okay, let me give it a shot. Um, People are happy, you know, people have good reviews of it. So people are saying good things about them. So, okay, let's walk in. Shea Stadium, I'll be honest. From I've never been there, but I've heard people say it was a total dump. But that's just me. So, excuse me. So I remember when I got into the stadium, it was much easier than getting into a Yankee stadium because there have been times at Yankee stadium. I have to wait like an hour to get in. Like the last game I went to, which was the 14th of April was April 14th. I literally waited an hour to get in. To be fair, it was also bobblehead night. So people were trying to go get their bobbleheads. Um, But city field, I was in in like, not even five minutes. It was just not really a big crowd. Walked in. Walked from the metal detector. Here's your ticket. Enjoy the game. I'm like, wow, that was easy. So, yeah, so I walked in. I had really good seats. I was, me and my two friends, we were sitting behind first base, couple rows back. And we got those type of seats for a ridiculously reasonable price at like 40 something bucks a pop. I'm like, wow, they are, that tickets are cheap and great tickets. Great, great view of the game. And I want to just say about, you know, the fans itself, like the fans, you know, not going to spend too much time, but, New York fans, whether it's the Yankees, the Mets, the Giants, the Jets, the Knicks, the Nets, the Rangers, the Islanders. Okay, we'll throw in the Devils because they're a New York area team. Oh, and then the Bills. Got to throw in those Buffalo Bills. New York fans are passionate. And they were really, and they were really into this game. Like, I'll be honest, when I was going to the game, I was kind of thinking, should I wear my Yankee hat or not? But I was advised to by a lot of people to not do that. 
because I remember there's one guy I was talking to. He was talking about how he really gets into the games. So, oh, and I just button said, yeah, I am too, but don't hate me. I'm a Yankee fan. And he just said, okay, I can't talk to you. Nah, good nature ribbon. But anyway, fans really into it. Um, the game itself, Mets ended up winning one to nothing. Brandon Nimmo hit a home run in the fourth. And then he had a, and then he had an amazing catch in the fifth. Kodai Senga ended up going six innings and gave up no runs. And Adam Adovino, former Yankee, we miss you, closed out the game. Now, and I was watching the game, and I have to admit, when I go to games of other teams, it's kind of nice, but kind of weird at the same time, because I don't have a dog in the fight. Like, I can just sit back, relax, and watch the game. And that's what it was like last night. I wasn't, like, I wasn't, like, super, super into it, but I wasn't super not interested. Like, I was low-key rooting for the Mets because, you know, they're our New York team. We got to support our fellow New Yorkers. But it wasn't a game that I was really – that, you know, I really had no dog in the fight, so I could just go and watch the game. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I want to talk a little bit about City Field itself. And like I said earlier, getting into that stadium was – Super easy, wasn't a hassle like it is Yankee Stadium. And I have to admit, going in there, and to be fair, it wasn't a sold out crowd, to be fair. So I remember, you know, like there were times I was just walking around because I'd never been there before and I wanted to, you know, check out the stadium a little bit, you know, wanted to explore a little. Um, the Shea Bridge which goes onto this deck where there's all different places to get food, beer, and everything, the sh- where they have the bridge from Shea Stadium. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That we got, and I got to walk over that. Um, but, you know, overall, I just want to say, you know, first food when it comes to pricing, it's just as expensive as Yankee Stadium. Maybe a couple bucks cheaper, but just as expensive. So just keep in mind, if you're going to go, you're going to be spending money. The food was good. It was good. I enjoyed it. I had a brisket sandwich, some garlic fries, and then later on I had a hot dog. Yeah, I'm going to be going on a run after this. <laughs> Burn that off. But anyway. Um, but the stadium itself, what I really like is the atmosphere. And what I mean by that is it was much more casual. Everybody just seemed more friendly, like such as the people who were working there. They just seemed a little more friendly. Not that saying the people who were at the Yankee Stadium aren't, but everyone just seemed very casual, a very just different type of vibe. And... Like I said, I think City Field is very nice. And okay, controversial statement here. And this is coming again from a diehard Yankee fan. I actually think City Field is nicer than Yankee Stadium. Yeah, there, I said it. I think City Field is nicer than Yankee Stadium. Because here's the thing like I said, ev- the vibe there seems more laid back. It seems more open where you have different areas where you can watch the game. Yankee Stadium as well, but it's not as much. And it just, I think the best way to describe it, my very good friend, Justin, who was with us last night, I think he said it best. He said Yankee Stadium is like going to an upscale corporate bar. You know, like something that you, like a bar you would go to to have a drink with your CEO while City Field is like going to your local dive bar where you would go to hang out with friends and have a few drinks and it's more relaxed. Like, that's how I feel. Like, that's how I feel, too. It's more, 
it is more, you know, it is more of a, you know, it is sort of more like a calmer vibe. People are, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, people are just, the people there just seem friendlier. Um, and, you know, from some of the amenities throughout the game itself, um, I feel it was more fan accessible. And what I mean by that is like during, like during some innings, there was some fan participation. Like there was this one thing where they had like this area for kids where the kid had to hit a home run or areas where he had to answer trivia. Just Yankees do trivia as well. But there was this one, this one guy literally had to pull a truck to get anyone like a certain amount of money off. Of, it was sponsored by Ford to win a certain amount of money off his next purchase at Ford. And I feel like it was just more fan accessible. Like there are some similarities, like they have the, oh, also they shoot off t-shirt cannons. Unfortunately, they didn't catch one, but they, you know, they, I feel like they keep the fans in mind. And while the Yankees tend to be more corporate-ish minded, but, you know, they do things that are sort of similar. Like they do the cap with the ball on the screen and they mix it around while the, you know, the Yankees do the same thing. And they also in the eighth and in, the the Yankees they do something called eighties in the eighth when you got to pick a song from the eighties and they play it. Well, the Mets they do a they pick they do eighth inning karaoke when they pick a song, but they don't limit it to the eighties. They do like a bunch of different genres, like last night's choices were Piano Man by Billy Joel, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi, and Stacy's Mom by Fountains of Wayne. And in an upset, Stacy's Mom won. I'm a little upset because I'm a Billy Joel and Bon Jovi fan, but. So there are some similarities, but overall, um, like I said, I had a really good time. And like I said earlier, I think City Field is nicer than Yankee Stadium. I feel it's a little more fan friendly. Um, does that mean I'm never going to go to Yankee Stadium again? No, I'm, of course, I'm probably going to go to a few more games this year. Um, but would I go and pay a friendly visit to our neighbors in Queens? not out of the question i i would i'd go back i would talk like would i go back to city field and pay a friendly visit to our neighbors in queens i think i would I, i'd go i would be open to going to another met game i totally would and even though i'm a yankee fan i i go i'd go back so yeah those are my thoughts i just thought i'd give you a perspective of what's it like going to a met game from a yankee fan like I know, like Mike Rifkin and others who are Met fans can give you the perspective because they're Met fans. But I thought you'd hear be interested, given it from like an outside perspective. If you liked what you see, go to www.dsportsandsanitynetwork.com. Check out our blogs, vlogs, podcasts, all that fun stuff. Check us out on Twitter at, at S Insanity Real. Check us out on Facebook and here on YouTube. Till next time, I'm Bill Murphy from the Sports and Saturday Network. Thank you for watching Murphy's View. Stay safe and take care.